Recording in progress. Okay, so this yoga class will be a little bit different. This is going to be a yoga class for our hip flexors and our psoas and also stabilizing into the outer hips. Okay, so we're going to begin. We're going to need a chair, some blocks, and a strap today. Okay, so as we begin our practice, we're going to start standing today. Okay, so start in Tadasana. Have your feet slightly apart, like so. And then you will use one block in between your thighs, like that. And allow for the block to lengthen or press forward so that the sits flesh can lengthen down from the tops of the thighs back and lengthen down on the sits flesh. Then bring the arms in front of you. You can feel, or I can feel already my core engaging. And then as if you're placing the block or giving it to somebody on the top shelf or placing it high up from the outer arms in. And as you lift up, lengthen down to the sits bones. Firm the legs. Uh, together and let the inner thighs release back and let the outer hips firm to the outer heels. Draw the navel in and up and sharpen the arms. Three more breaths. Two. And one. Very good. Lower the arms down and coming to downward facing dog and we place our hands on top of the blocks. Okay, and then we're going to press back into downward facing dog. By similar action in the upper outer arms, also see that the blocks are not sliding. So if your mat is not sticky enough, you can place the blocks against the wall. Bend your knees, straighten the arms, and draw the spine up, 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 up. Let your head relax down. Now draw the thighs up into the hip sockets. Press the tops of the thighs back. And then as you draw the part right below the navel, the organ body in, draw the ribs back. Then lengthen the heels towards the floor. Okay, inner thighs releasing back. From the back of the knee, lift to your hips. And the outer hips are pressing to the outer heels. Spread your toes and stretch back onto the ankles, any amount. Get longer and longer. One more inhale, exhale. Good, and then go forward into plank pose. Top of a push-up, lift up out of your wrist and firm the legs. Draw the shoulder blades down, and then just draw the knees in one by one. Start to loosen up a little bit through the psoas by engaging it first, okay? One more time, and then lift your hips up and back. Very nice. From here, we're going to step the right foot forward and lower the back knee down. I'm gonna start uh, with the back toes tucked under and just drop the weight into the front heel. Good, lift your chest, lift your sternum, ground into the right heel, and then lift your navel and press yourself up. Okay, reach arms up like you're placing the block on the top shelf. You reach a little more vigorous. And bring your arms forward, interlace your hands and push your fingers forward. Bhadagulyasana, scoop the belly up and reach arms up, up, up. Three more breaths, lift up, two. One more inhale, exhale here. And from here, you'll interlace the hands behind you and draw the knuckles down. Draw the belly in and look straight ahead. Good. One more inhale, exhale. And place the hands to the blocks, level two, and switch sides. Step your left foot forward. You can start with the back toe tucked under. And here we're going to sink into the hips, okay? Draw the outer left hip in. Go ahead and lift the navel up. 
walk yourself up and draw the navel in. Arms up, stretch up any amount, keep pressing the back foot down. Good, and then interlace your hands, the unusual finger on top, scoop forward and lift up, belly in. Now firm the outer hips in, in, lift into the chest. One more breath. Good, and lower the arms down, lower the blocks, and step back onto your knees, okay? Now this time, step your right foot forward, and I'd like you to take your back shin and spin it in 90 degrees, okay? Come up to standing. So your right knee is tracing over the second toe, so that leg stays there. And this one is facing forward. So we have externally rotated on one leg, and the other leg is neutral. Turn yourself so that you're in a diagonal in the middle here, and bring your hands down. Keep that knee tracing over the second toe. You might want to buckle in, and then just lower down onto the elbows and stretch into the spine. Relax your jaw and your shoulders down. Come back up. And this time just swing your back shin back and then step back with all fours. Okay, other side, I'll turn myself around. Step your left foot forward or the other leg forward and I'm not hearing you. Swing your back shin back 90 degrees. And be mindful that this knee stays pointing sideways. Here, really lift, okay? Turn your waist in the middle and bring your hands down. Keep the knee tracing over the second toe and just lower down onto the elbows. Stretch down. Good, a couple of more breaths. Just keep tracing that knee over the second toe. And make your way up. Swing your back leg back behind you and then step back onto all fours. Good, one more time. This time, tuck your toes under, coming to downward facing dog without the blocks, but same actions, pressing back. Couple of breaths here from the arms, come higher up onto the toes, drive the legs back, then go ahead and draw the navel in as you press the heels down. Walk your hands back to meet your feet. Inhale, lengthen forward halfway. Now you can use the blocks and exhale, bend the elbows to the side. Uttanasana, down, forward falling downwards. Good. Stand firmly on the feet. Lift from the backs of the knees, the hamstrings. And then again, inner thighs soften back, but the outer hips are grounding into the heels. Inhale, lengthen forward halfway. Exhale, hands to your hips and rise to stand. Very good. All right, we're gonna take some seated postures on the chair. Okay, so starting to sit on the side of the chair. Again, I'm not mirroring you. All right, reach your arms up towards the ceiling from the arm bones, draw the belly in. Good, on the exhale, turn facing the back of the chair. Take the back elbow in and down and then push up on the inhale. And on the exhale, keeping the right shoulder blade down, rotate back. So we're trying to lift into the upper back, keeping the hips nice and steady. Inhale for length. Exhale, rotate. Inhale for length. Exhale, rotate. Good, looking forward and unravel. Second side. Go ahead, bring your body the other way. Arms up, inhale, sit bones through. 
Good. Now the exhale, turn. Good. Elbow goes in. You're going to lift the torso on the inhale. Good. Shoulders down. And on the exhale, you move the left shoulder back in. As you lengthen the spine. Inhale here. Exhale, we lengthen and rotate back. Good, looking forward, and we unravel. Very good. Okay, go ahead and cross your right knee over your left knee. And we're just gonna sit flat on the chair like normal people. <laughs> okay, so cross your right heel over your left knee. Again, I'm not mirroring. And get the hips even. Hold on to the back of the chair and lift your chest and you're gonna just lean forward, wide enter the collarbones. I'll show this from the side as well. So sitting up, crossing the one heel over the other over the knee, externally rotate into the hip socket, shoulders down, hold on to the back of the chair. So that you're working a nice straight spine. Breathe. Neck is relaxed. Shoulder blades are going into the body and you're kind of lifting your chest here and grounding your hips. One more breath. Good, sit up straight. And then switch sides. Okay, heel over the knee. I like to sit at the edge of the chair, sit up straight, and then just hinge forward. So you can see that my left leg is way tighter than the right. And that's fine, but just noticing. As you do this forward reach, you still want to draw the hips back and in as if the sides are pulling into the hip socket. With my ankle flexed, I also protect into the knee. So lift, inhale, and exhale. Good, one more breath. Let it feel nice in your body. And come on up. Excellent, and on cross. Okay, we're gonna take the right knee, cross over the left knee. Maybe you sit like this all the time in the chair. If you can, you can do a double cross. Okay, I'm gonna reach arms up, slide the hips back, and if you need to undo your legs, you can. But one more time, just reach forward. Okay, and then from here, you can take the elbow across, and here, you can lift your chest and push into the back of the chair, like that. Okay, inhale, exhale, lift and rotate. Couple of breaths, shoulders down. Inhaling and lifting to rotate as you exhale. Nice hip opener, lift that heart. Look down, unravel, find neutral spine for a little bit, and then cross the left over the right. Some of you can hook the foot, grab a hold of the chair and lean forward first. Mm -hmm. This chair is a little small for me, so I barely fit, so I have to grab lower. Okay, inhale, exhale. Good, getting the upper back to release. And then arms up, you take your right arm across and then you can bring your other hand onto the chair and shoulder blade in on your back. Inhale, lengthen, lift, and then a little nudge there on the shoulder blades as you lift your chest. Breathing into the hips, elongating and rotating. Good, looking down, unravel, come on up, and uncross. Okay, just one more time, 
I'm leaning forward to even it out. Breathe up into the chest. And come on up to standing. All right, so notice how you feel. <laughs> it's a lot of movement now. We're gonna stand firmly into your uh, left leg. You're gonna draw the right knee up and turn it out. Kind of what we did on the knees, okay? From here, I'd like you to reach. Keep that standing left thigh straight. It has a tendency to sneak forward. So you wanna keep it where it is. Knee and toe pointing in the same direction. You're gonna reach across and see if you can get the elbow there. And maybe a hand can reach the back of the chair. So firming down on the standing leg, pressing the thigh back. Okay, and you're drawn up and over. You can reach arm out. I'm pulling a little bit back. So it's important that you're not arching out and sticking about out. So keep your hip under, okay? Just a couple of breaths here, stretching. If you can, rotate the bottom rib cage to the top rib cage without swinging the hip. Good, come on up and we're gonna switch sides. Move in, and change the chair around. And stand firmly down, draw the knee up, and step onto the chair. Thigh pressing back, knee out, and if you need to move it a little forward, you can. Okay, this side has a tendency to collapse in. You want the thigh firm back, you want your navel band in. Stretch down to this leg and over to the side. This side is much tighter. And yes, I can reach the chair back so belly in hip under and then the standing leg firms lift your chest mm -hmm. so really getting that outer hip here to lengthen stretch back breathe One more inhale, exhale. Press in the standing leg, come up. Good, and then draw the knee in and set it down. Okay, we're gonna use our blocks now. Let's like have your chair on the yoga mat so that it doesn't slide, okay? I'd like you to bring your block here on the mat. And now I'm going to mirror you this time. So follow the same side. You can do the block or the chair. Okay. Fingertips together. Bend your knees. Step, step, or hop out. Good. You're going to see that the heel is on the middle of that block. You're going to bend your knee. You're going to pivot on your heel and get the mounds of the toes up to the block. Right? Heel toe the back leg back and firm into the back hip to the heel. Bend your front knee and straighten a couple of times. So I have super duper um, high arches. I'm really tight Achilles. So if I bend too much, my heels just gonna go up. Right? So resist with the back leg, bend the front knee a couple of times. Good. That's right. One more. And then bend the front knee, ground into the heel. Take that outer right hip forward. Going to reach forward. Resist the back leg any amount. And then you find a chair. Or if you had the block, firm the back leg. Keep the knee tracing over the second toe. Lift. Rib cage in. Turn your chest open. Right? You can stretch your arm back or over your ear. Okay, you can have the hand on the chair as well. Stretch out, stretch out. Couple of more breaths. So good, you work that back leg. Come on up. And you're gonna straighten the front leg. Now be mindful so that you're not sliding on that heel, but you're really grounding into the heel and then drawing the thigh bone up. Tilt the pelvis slightly, 
lift your pubic bone, arms out, reach, reach, reach. Find their chair, hand to the hip. Now the leg is lifting up into the hip and turning outwardly. From the back leg, inhale, straighten the arm and or send that top arm over your ear. Okay, up and around. Breathe. Good, and come down. Look down, bend your front knee. Okay, come up to standing and then you parallel your feet. Tilt your feet together and step in. Tadas. Notice the difference in your hips and the side waist, shoulders. Getting taller. Okay, switching sides. Bring the chair over so it's not sliding. In case you want to work with the block, it's there, and the other block is flat, level one. Okay. Some shadows. Okay, fingertips together. Bend your knees, step, step, we'll hop out. Good, now get to the center of the block. Bend your knee and you're gonna pivot on the heel and spread to the mounds of your toes. So the toe pads are on the block edge. Slide the back heel, bend and straighten a few times. So bend, straighten, see that the block is not sliding, that's not safe. Good, now we stay bent, okay? It's like we did with the chair earlier. The knee is not buckling in or out. Out the hip is in, firm the back leg. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna reach forward, reach forward. With that hip under, heel grounded, draw the thigh into the hip. Descend the thigh bone down. Find your chair or your block, I think I'm gonna use block. Good, and then you're gonna lengthen forward, hip under and then open across your chest. Send the arm behind you, send the top arm over your ear. Big stretch. Tita Parasvakanasana with the toes up. Much different for the uh, muscles on the shin bone. It is very strengthening for both the knee and the hips. Lift your chin a little bit or rotate. And then hand to the hip, look down. Ground into the leg, come up and straighten. Now turn inner side towards the outer side. Firm the back hip to the heel, arms out. You're gonna reach a long side. Drawing the hip in, finding your chair or your block. And then you're gonna lengthen up. And we're gonna rotate both the arms wide. Good. Firming the back leg, drawing it into the socket, and breathe. Mm -hmm. Maybe send the top arm over your ear, whatever feels nice. Lifting the left side up into the hip socket. Spreading your toes, standing grounded into the back leg. Look down, bend your front knee, and come on up. And parallel your feet. Very good. Heel to your feet together and find your tadasana. Yay. Thighs back. Sit flesh in. Arms straight. Very good. All right. We're now moving into a twist. Okay, so we're going to use the chair. And if you need something for your knees, you can put a blanket. Uh, under the knees, okay? So I'm, uh, now again, um, come onto your knees and we're going to step your right foot forward. So I'm again, not mirroring you, okay? And my knees is pointing straight forward. The back foot is flat, okay? You're going to bend into the front knee now and get that outer right hip in, okay? See that the back foot didn't turn in. Keep it straight. Okay, lift your frontal hip points and encourage the outer right hip down. Lift your navel, go into the psoas here and then inhale. 
reach your left arm up. We're gonna draw the navel back and then go across and bring your elbow down across. Then you can bring your hand onto the chair. You're gonna inhale to lengthen and then on the exhale, you're gonna rotate. Okay, so you can use the chair here, chair back. You're gonna inhale and you're gonna lift and gently rotate. Again. Push on the chair, get yourself up and around without too much cranking. Good. And then look down, and we're gonna come up and switch sides. Okay, so move the chair over. Let's set that left leg forward. See that the back chin didn't swing in now, but it's straight. Okay, I'm going to sink into the hip, pelvis up, okay? Reach your right arm up, but you're going to go across your body, place your hand down, shoulder blades down, and then you can lift on the inhale and even draw yourself a little more up and around on the exhale. So we're really getting a good uh, release in the psoas. Inhale, exhale. Good, looking down, press yourself up, and come on to your knees. Very good. For a moment here, if you can, sit with your heels inside of your sits bones. And bring your hands to your thighs, lift your chest, squeeze the outer shins in, and hinge over the hips. If you can, bring your left elbow across the knees, and then you can come into prayer balasana. You gotta lengthen through the torso, stretch your hips back, and try to coil the upper chest up. Hips back, sternum forward, and lift and rotate. Good, look down, and we're gonna switch sides, okay? Arms up. Reach forward and you're going to bring your arm across. Good. Keep those outer ankles hugging in. And then we'll go inhale, lengthen, and exhale, rotate. Looking down. And from here, unraveling. Very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and get yourself a bolster. Okay, I'm gonna sit on to the bolster. Actually, I'm gonna do the chair prep first. So go ahead and bring your right foot up onto the chair. This demonstrate good, and we're going to see again that the chair is not at all sliding, we don't feel unsafe. Okay, you're going to lift up, hinge forward, take your left elbow across, and then come into prayer. Just switch. inhale, lift, and exhale. Go you can lean a little bit in, lift the torso a little bit. Good, get into the upper back. Very good, look down and we switch. Just a little quickie, it's a little bit, little wobbly. So if you feel like you need to work with the wall, you can do that, okay? Lift up, reach and get your arm across. Then inhale here, get nice and steady on both feet. Lengthen and lift to rotate. And don't let the right thigh slide in. Keep it in a neutral position, right? Really getting long here, releasing the psoas. Couple of breaths. Look down and let go. All right, good job. Now get your bolster. Okay, so Marichyasana zero and Marichyasana three. 
We're going to sit on the bolster. And maybe need even a little more height. Add it on one blanket and sitting on the edge. First, we lift up, round into the right heel, straight down your left leg. Good, and keep that left leg active. Now, we start with zero, so we go ahead and we will reach our right arm up. Inhale. See if you can first go forward a little bit and touch or hold on to the foot and the toe. Lengthen forward, work that right shoulder blade down, and then you can inhale, lift, and reach up and turn yourself around. So lots of twisting side to side. Standing into both heel bones, lift and lengthen on the inhale, and rotate back as you exhale. Look down and unravel. Now we'll go across. Right hip down, left arm up, inhale. And you're gonna bring the arm, if you can't go across in, again, you're on your cycle or you know, have severe cramps or lower backs or anything like that, just be mindful here. Stabilize the lower back, inhale up and lift through the organs and then rotate back. Pushing the right hip down and forward as you rotate. Forward and release. Second step. Marichyasana zero and three. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Hinge forward, grab hold of your foot, lengthen. Elbow down, and you can go down and then up to get the skin to rotate down. And then you lift and you can go back and open into the chest. Inhale and exhale. Open that upper thoracic. One more breath. Good, looking down and release. Okay, now right arm up, inhale. Good. Go up, 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 and then go around, elbow across or hugging in. And then we'll go ahead and lift to the torso, draw the hips in, anchor the heel bones, lengthen up. And then on the exhale, rotate back. Get that upper back to move in to the heart and lengthen upwardly. Good, looking forward and release. Okay, beautiful work. From here, we're gonna go and sit on one blanket. We're gonna work into Yanushir Shasana. Okay. Okay, so spread your legs so that they are hip and mat width apart. And then you're gonna bend your right leg in, firm the left side down, reach arms up, turn towards the left side. Get that outer hip to move forward, inhale, and bring your hands down. Lengthen up and then elbows to the side as you exhale and go down. Inhale up and exhale, help the leg in. Come to neutral just for a little bit. And now we're gonna bend our left leg back, right leg out, arms up. Rotate from the organs, lengthen up, up, and then hinge at the hips. Grab what you can, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, go forward and down. Breathe. And press into the hips, come on up. Help your leg in, straighten both legs. 
Last little bit, arms up, inhale. And on the exhale, grab what you can, lengthen forward. And then go forward and down. And then press your thighs down. Good. Now we're going to just come into comfortable cross leg end and just reach arms up. We're going to do just a gentle twist. Inhale, twist to the right. Exhale, arms up, twist to the left. Good. And come down. Nice. We're going to lay down each each of asana. Final rest. And as you lay down, make yourself comfortable. When you come down on your back, just pull onto your knees and bring your head down. Take a couple of moments to move this is flush down, arms out, shoulder blades under. Once you get that, Shoulders to release under and down, upper arms open. Bring your feet together and straighten one leg and then the other. Inhale here and exhale. Let your legs fall out. Shavasana. Stay for at least five minutes. If you can, that would be wonderful. And as you come out of the poses, roll to your side. Rest for a moment. Use your left hand, press into the floor. And just let your spine roll up. Wonderful. And we close it in by bringing our hands in front of our hearts. Inhale, bow down, exhale. Lift your gaze and open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you, thank you. Great job. Okay. Enjoy, enjoy.